Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today I'm going to have a tutorial on how to get the, H the best HD PVR quality without using uh, Sony Vegas. Now this is going to be a really in-depth tutorial because I'm getting a lot of feedback from the videos I did about my HD PVR and some people are running into issues of my settings don't work for their computer, I mean their software, their HD PVR software and things like that. So I'm going to have a really, really in-depth tutorial of how I came to my having my best quality for YouTube. So I'm using the software that came with the came with the uh, HD PVR, the Arcsoft Total Media Extreme 2. And now um, when you open, you know, the software or whatever and it's recording. First you're going to go to uh, your device settings right right here and what you're going to do is click on device settings now this is the device settings for the um, for the uh, HD PVR now let's start with the first one the brightness brightness is dealing with the overall picture of the 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 what's were being recorded so if you see here brightness deals with the entire picture so if I adjust it see if I adjust it see how everything is just whiter if I adjust all of it how everything goes white brightness deals with the entire picture of of the brightness if you want to turn that down if you want to turn that up now with the brightness you also have to keep in mind sometimes you're going to need it to add a little bit more texture uh, to your uh, to what's going on in the picture itself um, let me just go ahead back up to where I had it uh, it's gonna uh, uh, um, like sometimes you add a little bit of brightness um, but most of the time you add a little bit to, to add more texture to whatever whatever game that you're playing now the second one contrast contrast which is right here the second one contrast deals with brightness and darkness but it deals with the light and shadow so if you adjust if you adjust your contrast you see the shadow right here um, and you see the shadow right here and you see the light coming off of the the player's back contrast deals with these two things the light and the shadows it casting if that makes any sense the more contrast you have i think is going to adjust uh the shadow the less is going to be the uh the the light uh the light source itself um, if you adjust it uh, low or high, it's going to affect how much shadow versus light you're going to have, like natural light. So I'm playing a night game. The contrast deals with the light that's hitting your model and the shadow it's casting, if that makes any sense. Now, the hue deals with, this is why I have the hue on zero. The hue deals with, do the greens look greens, do the blues look blues, and do all the colors look the way they do. If you adjust this too high, you'll have more blue showing than I think green, or more green showing than blue. So that's why I left it uh, the way it is, because the color was right, uh, right on point, because... Um, the hue, the hue just deals with, you know, are, are these colors blue? Are these colors green? Are these colors going to be white, of course? But when you're dealing with certain colors, hue deals with that, that as well. Uh, so that's why I left mine at zero because if you put too much hue, you're going to have more blue. If you put too much, too little, you're going to have a little bit more green. So I left that, left that the way it is. Now, saturation deals with how bold do you want these colors do you want your 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 blues bluer your greens greener your reds redder um if you add too less saturation it would actually turn black and white if you add too much the colors don't look natural 
So you have to balance it out to to say like, okay, I want my colors, you know, bolder. I want them, um, you know, my greens green and my blues blue. But if you add too much saturation, it's not going to look natural. So that's what saturation deals with, how intense you want your color. Now, uh, sharpness deals with now there's a flaw with my software my arc software media my sharpness does not work for some reason it's not enough to to um to you know return this software as long as the other ones work but sharpness just deals with how sharp do you want your edges to be now for instance you see the guy running on backbreaker in one of my favorite games now sharpness deals with the over outline of this uh, the object itself. Objects on the screen, if they're sharp, if they're if they're clear. If you add too much sharpness around, like like for example, around this person, it'll be too jagged, really really jagged, it won't be smooth. Now if you add too less of a sharpness, it will look bland. It, this person will not stand out. It will just blend in with the entire picture. They won't have no depth type, no type of definition, especially around objects, people, uh, etc. Um, oh, also, now if you want quality, if you want quality off of, off of, uh, especially when you when you want the best quality when you upload to YouTube not only do your settings right here but also close this and go over here to format settings you did the device settings now the format settings this is where you want to get the best quality for YouTube because YouTube actually will take your quality and knock it down a notch a little bit if you're uh, if you didn't know that already what you're gonna do right here is you're gonna go to where it says quality bitrate and you wanna put that to the max you're gonna put it all the way up to best where it's 13.5 you have to do this if you want the best quality you want those colors to show and things like that you have to turn this all the way up to best and uh, keep everything the same as you see right here, I got everything the same. Now, also another secret to to getting the best HD PBR quality is not even dealing with the software. It's actually dealing with your entire screen. Like, I have my laptop, right? I had to adjust my screen's brightness a little bit. Like, you see how... Watch when I do this. Like, I'm, I'm adjusting my screen's brightness to on my actual laptop this is actually a secret as well because if your screen is too too dull you gonna get thrown off of your color so like for instance I'm all the way down on my settings to my brightness I have like 10 10 levels this is the first level so I went halfway like if I count all the way up this is the first level this is the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth what i did i went down to my sixth level it was like halfway a little bit uh like i went to five or six setting on my screen so this is this is ten nine eight seven six this is where my settings were at on my screen you have to keep that in mind if you're trying to adjust color make sure the brightness on your screen your monitor is is right as well but there you have it i hope that this uh was a a, a good tutorial for you for anyone who has any questions if you like what you saw today uh please like the video it really helps out a lot and if you have any questions, comments, any concerns, you can contact me at uh, techgamesetc at gmo.com or you can hit me up at that on that PlayStation Network at uh, Asian underscore boy underscore 100. I thank you so much for watching this uh, tutorial and you enjoy your day. See you later.